Hello. Yeah, planning. Good afternoon, Doctor Vijendra speaking from your PDA. How are you? Hi. Hi, sir. I'm fine, sir. How are you? Uh, great, great planning. So we are going for mock interview of Niti Bombay, and uh, we have uh, uh, two more mentors with me, Sigvani sir and Roshni ma'am. So uh, we go ahead, and as you know, there are three sections. You are aware, right? Yes. first section is about the introduction for 5 minutes and then followed by general awareness section and then uh, technical basic engineering knowledge and industrial engineering knowledge section okay, okay. so uh, planning i want you to start now and uh, you are ready for the introduction yes sir okay i think you can start your time starts now okay sir hi sir hi everyone and my name is palani and i am from bangalore my father is a machine worker and my mother is a homemaker and i have two elder brothers so coming to my academics i did my entire education in bangalore itself so i did by most of my schooling in sikanda kendriya vidyalaya so during my school days i was more involved in sports i was a captain of volleyball team in my school school team and i used to play a couple of athletic sports too and i did my undergraduate in jss academy of technical education bangalore and my specialization was under electronics and communication so during those four years of engineering i participated in various competitions and i've attended several workshops as well and uh, i have presented a seminar on millipede memory memory and their possible scope in the near future and i have i have done couple of mini project as well and i was a intern student for a period of 6 months in this lab iisc to complete my final year project so my final year project is titled as design and development of a mass cell lens in the photolithography unit basically photolithography is a process of converting the raw silica into integrated cells it consists of various processes such as purification alignment exposure and so on so we were assigned the part of mask alignment so the our aim of, our aim of the experiment was to design a mask alignment system and a live fed camera processing system to aid the mask alignment the system consists of four stepper motors which is driver which is controlled by a driver which is in turn controlled by a microprocessor so the main hurdle here was to get the micrometer precision so after several iteration we did achieve micrometer precision so my role in the project is to design the embedded system and the user interface so the system designed is a semi automatic system so the operator sees the misalignment uh, through display and gives the correction uh, through two axis joystick the result of the project is the result of the project is a low low budget uh, mask liner with the efficiency same as that of uh, commercially available ones so after finishing my graduation i did work in mnc for over 14 months called atos it global solution where i was trained under a domain called as mainframe and put under a vertical called as uh, batch operations where time management is played a very critical role uh, my work basically revolved around uh, handling various client problem and changing their functions uh, upon uh, depending upon their varying client needs so during this ten year i, I learned various lot of things uh, the main thing being interacting with the client and uh, how to handle various software tools and documentation and uh, i was preparing for jet along with my work so managing both the work and uh, uh, studies was a bit difficult so after gaining decent amount of corporate exposure i did quit my job and pursue what i really want to do in life so apart from my academics and work experience i rely heavily on internet to keep myself updated so i look up to the people who are same interested same same interest as mine and like to discuss with them and uh, during my school uh, during my college days i was i was a member of a social welfare organization called yoda we used to conduct a uh, blood donation camp every year in the college and as i was saying i i, I was play, i was a captain of my college school volleyball team and we have we have won various district level competition in that so coming to my hobbies i love watching movies and tv series while science fiction me being my favorite genre and i love i love cooking i do cook regularly um, and after finishing my exams i started reading novels and uh, so far it has been very exciting experience and and trying to explore as much as, as possible thank you sir okay so uh, planning that was all about your introduction now i think we can proceed to second section where 
Saklani sir will give you some general awareness topics. Okay sir. Okay, Plani, I will be giving you three topics, and okay. out of those three topics, you are supposed to uh, decide two topics, and uh, you are supposed to uh, like speak on those two topics for roughly about five minutes, right? Okay. Two point five minutes each. Okay. okay. So the first topic is role of fake news in the spread of coronavirus. Okay. Second topic is leader or follower. Okay. Third one is India needs better trains, not bullet trains. Okay. So let me know uh, the topics on which you want to speak. Okay. Sir, so first I will speak on leader or follower. Okay. And the second one. And and the second one is uh, regarding the. Bullet train or uh, better train. Okay, so okay, start with the leader or follower. Uh, your time starts now. Okay, so leader or follower. Uh, leader, leader is the one who sets a vision for the company and inspires people to follow that. And follower is the one who who, who gets inspired by such a leader and thinks he has some responsibility to do with that. The difference between leader and the follower is the willingness to, to be wrong. When you are follower, you ask the leader what to do. When you are, when you do this, you will never go wrong. Like uh, a follower sees a leader as an ideal. If the leader discuss discussion turns out to be wrong, your hands your hands are washed of any responsibility. It is it, it was the leader's decision. So you are. It is easy to. Uh, there is no not much risk involved in uh, follower, but leader uh, has uh, risk risk involvement. Whereas follower works on a daily daily wage or monthly salary paycheck, where leader has a vision uh, vision for the organization. Um, then. A leader should think in the future sense. Like, like uh, he should think what will happen if I take decision today. What will be the yield in tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow for the future company. And the follower may should uh, follow this uh, details. That's regarding uh, leaders or leaders versus followers. Okay, that is all. Yes, sir. Okay. So let us now move on to the second topic of your choice. That is, India needs better trains, not bullet trains. Your time starts now. Uh, so I would like to give different perspective of this. Sir. Most of the people would think uh, we need a better train than bullet train. But according to me, bullet train uh, is necessary because uh, it, we shouldn't think it as a we shouldn't think it as like a, a waste of money. Because we should, India is a developing nation which has around uh, the average age of an Indian is around 26 years, 26 to 27 years. So we have young population. So we we should drive the nation through this population. If we, uh, I see bullet train as a technology development rather than waste investment. So uh, as far as my view is concerned, we should uh, we should uh, drive the young population towards the. Uh, Goal of uh, technology, rather than thinking of it as a waste of money. That's all. And uh, oh, that's it. Okay. So, uh, okay, I think then we can move on to the <laughs> next section. That is the uh, uh, like uh, the third part, right? Yeah. Okay. Sir. So. Uh, uh only we can proceed with the third section now in which i will give you two topics from industrial engineering and one topic ma'am will give you from your engineering background that is electronics and communication okay these are basic engineering uh, topics so okay. you can write down uh, two topics from my side okay sir okay so first topic is what do you understand by industrial engineering okay second is engineer versus manager 
engineer versus manager and third topic can be given by ma'am Your third question is, uh, what do you mean by current hogging, and which logic can be has the problem of current hogging? Sorry, ma'am, I didn't hear you properly. Hello. Okay. Your third question is, what do you mean by current hogging problem, and which logic can be has the problem of current hogging? Okay. Okay. So, I plan you have to decide which one two topics you want. Uh, one second, sir. So I will be speaking on first first two topics, sir. Okay, industrial engineering, no? Process manager and uh, industrial engineering. Uh, what what is industrial engineering? Yes. So uh, industrial engineering is a is a study of the portion of engineering profession. that is concerned with optimization of complex processes and systems and how it can be optimized properly and uh, uh, utilize maximum uh, efficiency of the problem uh, and uh, industrial engineers develop job eva- evaluation pro- programs almost other duties in find way to eliminate waste wastefulness in the product production process they they devise efficient systems that integrate workers machines material raw material and energy to make a product and provide the services which required and why uh, why industrial engineering is important is that uh, to find the answer to many important problems in manufacturing and distribution of goods and services sir so industrial engineer basically Uh, makes a plan and makes a plan and uh, sticks to it uh, for maximum efficiency of the organization that's it for uh, that's it from my side for uh, industrial engineering sir okay so the second topic is uh, uh, engineers or managers In- engineer engineer are the one who 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 are good at the technical side of the subject who, who know how how a how a how a circuit works how a how how a device works uh, by c- considering the technical consideration manager is a creative and complex as rules are not fixed and any any environment conti- continually changing engineers working on technical project want to be a manager managed by someone who can understand their technical problems engineering managers have to get resource approved by their project so manager is a basically a person who manages uh, manages uh, people and get work done by done by the people e- engineer are more related to the technical part yeah so what yes sir so you need to say Okay, done. So I think we can give you feedback now. Okay, sir. Okay, Prani, how was it? What do you think? I was a bit nervous. <laughs> okay, at which stage? But you know, introduction. Uh, you started uh, the good thing in you was introduction. You have practiced good. It yes, looks sir. like surface topic got sorry. Excited. I got excited during the surface topic. That's why I got panicked. Okay, okay, not a problem. So, introduction was good. I think you could spend uh, some more than four minutes into that, and it was good. Uh, you made a starting, uh, but you know, you ne- you can make your introduction even more uh, interesting by adding some interesting parts. So, m- have you written some kind of script? Not uh, complete script, sir, but uh, key points I have written it down. No, you write, make a structure actually, and in the beginning itself, you divide because five minutes is too long a period for you to. continuously speak without structure so it's better you make a structure and then uh, you jot down everything in a structure like first part will be your background your family background your uh, schooling your college etc second part may okay. be your extracurricular activities your uh, uh, strong uh, strong points weak points personality related things third can be btech project or something so you can make some kind of structure that depends upon you towards the end of uh, uh, your introduction you were fumbling i mean it, it was looking like you are running 100 meter race and towards the end you are totally exhausted it should not look like that 
you know, it should be entire five minutes, the kind of energy which you have in the beginning, that should be there towards the end also. So just practice that. And it should not look like that you are running or you have memorized certain uh, words or you are rushing through. Because uh, whosoever will listen your introduction, he should have some time to grasp whatever you are saying. So if you keep the slow pace, the way I am speaking to you right now, if you keep that slow pace, it will be very good. Plus, if you want to catch the attention of the listener, then during your introduction, you use some very interesting things. Maybe you can use anecdotes, you can use examples. That's why I would like to tell you something about very interesting about my mother. My mother is a very deeply religious lady and uh, she is highly educated, but she left her career for kids and now she is taking care of home. And uh, I think she is the best manager I've ever seen. So these kind of things actually will go to his memory listener. Other things are ritualistic. I mean, 99% students are speaking the same thing. My mother is a homemaker or some maker or that maker. Don't use that. Just make it interesting. So that is what I okay. can say. Right? And make okay. a script and uh, you can improve upon that particular question. Now I think uh, Saglani sir will give feedback before I come back. Okay. Okay, Plani. Uh, I gave you two topics. Uh, on first topic, roughly you spoke for one minute. Okay. Not more than one minute. And uh, or maybe like 1.5 to one minute. Whereas in case of second topic, uh, you were not able to speak even more than one minute. Yes, sir. Right? So, uh, see, uh, you're having these uh, three topics. You chose a one very, like, uh, little, uh, that is, uh, like, leader and follow up. Instead of if you would have chosen that other topic, I, th I think it would have been easy for you to explain. Like, role of fake news in the spread of coronavirus. Right. Okay. But anyway, you chose that and then you started explaining on that. And okay. Uh, so, okay, let me just give you the feedback uh, of the leader and the follower. Okay. okay. So actually, you could not enumerate many points on the leader. Rather, your focus remained more or less on the uh, follower side, right? Because in case of follower, you were easily able to explain that these are yeah. the followers and these are the something they see good in leader and all that. But yeah. uh, you were not, uh, like, uh, points were not coming in your mind uh, with regard to the quality of leader. Right. Okay. For example, you okay. mentioned two qualities of like he is having a vision for a company. Why only company? It could be anything. It could be a nation or could be anything. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, risk is involved and something. So these are the two points you could highlight. Right. Okay. Now see, okay. leader have many perspectives. Uh, the way you see it. See. Okay. One is that uh, leader has a vision for the objective that he sees. Right. And obviously, yeah. when he moves on that uh, objective. He needs followers, right? Yeah, Without yeah. a follower, a leader has no meaning. He, yeah. And that since uh, he has a vision, so he is able to motivate those uh, followers in the direction of his vision, right? He can yeah. energize them, he can channelize their energy in that particular direction, right? Or basically this is because of he is having a convincing power. Because when no. he is having convincing power, to convince the followers, okay, this is the goal, and uh, uh, he is also able to attach that uh, goal. Uh, okay. With the that uh, you can say expectation of those followers, right? So no, he is right. having if he is having the conviction in that goal, then that conviction he has uh, with that conviction he can relate that goal to the uh, followers okay. and followers he also see the opportunity in that or rather you can say uh, they also see kind of uh, common uh, that uh, the vision that leader is having, right? And obviously as yes. I mentioned, like risk obviously risk is involved because yes, uh, whatever the whether that uh, vision that he has seen. Or the like, uh, so if something goes wrong, then obviously yeah. it is uh, he is the one who has to take the responsibility, right? And yes. for example, and in addition to it, risk taking capability he must have, and in addition to it, for example, if something goes wrong, then he has to take the blame, right? So that yes. he can keep the followers motivated for the next task. Whereas if something goes positive, if something positive, then he uh, like uh, he just uh, related to the contribution of those followers. Right? So this is how I think four or five points uh, you could have enumerated about the leader. So okay. uh, same way, okay, followers, you could uh, tell that, okay, followers, uh, they see the ideal in him, right? They are influenced by his thoughts. They can yes. correlate themselves uh, by, uh, with the goal that uh, that this particular leader is having. And obviously, yes. if something goes wrong, then uh, nobody, no follower is going to take the responsibility, right? Something yes. that way. Okay. So what I will suggest to you, for example, if you pick such kind of topic where you don't have much like points in a hand or like uh, beforehand, then okay. uh, just uh, take a few seconds initially, right? Okay. Okay. Let's think initially for a few seconds. For example, what I can speak about the leader. 
so if you can think then i think some more points can come to your mind but yeah. if you will start speaking at the very beginning then uh, like the thing that you are having like at after certain point let us say 30 second or after 1 minute uh, you will fall short of words you will not have ideas or then if when you will not be having idea you will start thinking and those words will not come so easily those ideas will not come so easily oh. so okay. it is better that you just think for few seconds uh, at the very beginning okay 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 and the second point was uh, bullet Uh, sorry it was uh, second topic was train india train. needs better trains not bullet trains yeah right see this is a topic given to you you have to take a balanced opinion okay. you cannot answer this is not a question posed to you where you need to answer it in yes or no okay. it is something like saying whether you should go for launching mangalyaan or chandrayaan mission or should you use that money uh, uh, in the poor population of india right so okay. a huge population where you should make use of more, okay almost more or less it is the meaning is same so okay. you cannot say that okay it is good we should i think you cannot say that i think uh, we should go for only this uh, bullet train only okay. it means you are taking one direction and biased on that right so okay uh, like uh, when you had started with the bullet trains and the uh, like better trains so you would have started like uh, 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 like uh, uh india needs the you would have uh, told about the situation in india first the condition like uh, such a huge population we are already having in india and yeah. we need a better connectivity we need more trains we need better trains right so yeah. that part you would have explained first okay that obviously no. we need to so there also we need to make the investment but at the same time we also have to think about the future also for example okay. if you will think of the bullet trains high speed trains then that uh, we will be able to connect to many bigger okay. cities and the problem of like having that a uh, uh, lot of population concentrated in a single city can be avoided you could have given the example that the bullet plane train first bullet train that is uh, proposed between like uh, ahmedabad and mumbai so the people from mumbai uh, sorry ahmedabad can uh, can travel on daily basis to mumbai so that means the okay. concentration of people in the uh, city like mumbai will reduce reduce at the yeah. same time the other part that you address was that it will be the technological part yeah till go for the bullet trains you are basically developing the new technology also or maybe yeah. if you are taking the initial help from uh, from somebody but in that process also there will be uh, technology inculcation and over a period of time uh, you can develop that technology to a higher extent right so yes. technology development aspect will also come and then you can yes. correlate that it may happen that in future we can make use of that technology and therefore even uh, we can earn the money also indirectly for example then you can correlate for example in case of uh, like satellites right right now yes. we, uh, uh, this we is launching, in a very good position that we are launching the satellite of other nations also yes. so if we had not developed the pslv or gslv so we would not have been able to earn that money also so these are the two sides of the same coin so we have at any stage of, uh, at any particular stage we need to take the decision whether we need to but yes not at the cost of let somebody uh, suffer that but we have to make a some kind of balance while uh, uh, like uh, allocating some kind of fund for the, those particular projects okay right now see all things you have to little bit to maine iske bare mein na to i have not spoken against uh, better trains neither i have spoken against bullet trains yeah yeah i had spoken uh, i had uh, talk about both of these things right so that yes. way your opinion will be balanced right okay so okay. just uh, try to do that way and uh, no. uh, advisable it is advisable that uh, you take a few seconds initial because if you can take few seconds uh, your uh, like uh, the flow will remain and you will have more points to speak on okay right plani anything uh, right. you want to ask on this nothing sir nothing sir right okay, okay. so that is how uh, so okay now we can move on to the feedback of next section okay so plani uh, you were given three topics out of which you chose two topics which were both from industrial engineering uh, what is the definition of industrial engineering you know you need to keep things very simple and make a pace be comfortable be confident in your uh, voice level also and in your uh, pace also and the way you speak you should basically look like confident so if this question is asked like what is industrial engineering by the way you used only 1 minute to speak this not 2.5 minute so for both the question you took almost 1 minute only and in the engineer versus manager you were totally out and you could not even use 1 minute so uh, industrial engineering you know you can start from the name itself okay, is our industrial engineering as the name itself is reflecting that means application of engineering into industries now first we should know what is the industries or industrial domain 
that is basically uh, a system where uh, people processes come together and uh, tend to create something and that something which is created is called product or service so no. when we make use of engineering when we make use of engineering knowledge when we make use of engineering tools devices and mathematics analysis research to uh, make this conversion from input to output that becomes the part of industrial engineering to make things no. even more simpler and uh, easy to grasp and understand i'll just quote some examples which will make our concept of what industrial engineering is more simple like whatever we study in operation research uh, where we calculate objective function we have some problem at hand we calculate objective function to optimum utilization of the resources that is the typical problem of industrial engineering because the resources are always scarce resources are always less and hence their optimum use is something which is very very important and engineering is all about optimum use of the resources so it is the efficient and effectiveness with which we convert input to output that is the ultimate objective of industrial engineering now transportation problem assignment problem uh, linear programming problem forecasting inventory all these things which whatever analysis analysis we do that is a part of industrial engineering so that means no. to uh, convert input into output and to make optimum use of resources with the help of engineering is called industrial engineering uh, so you i think uh, planning uh, on this direction you can proceed forward this is the okay. example of industrial engineering now second part okay. was engineering versus manager engineer versus manager you will say uh, both engineer and manager are professional that means to uh, pursue their career they need to have some kind of formal education in their respective fields for engineering yeah. you need to uh, have some knowledge of mathematics physics science technology use you need to get uh, expert in some kind of lab activities some kind of tools and devices knowledge you should have software skills you should have and then main purpose of engineering as a profession is to basically deal with those tools techniques devices processes and to handle a system so that you can produce something and that again something can be product or it can be service so th- that profession is called engineering profession to name okay. some of the examples of engineering profession we talk about civil engineers who are making bridges who are making use of knowledge of their shear force bending moment diagram deflection to create good structure uh, they are using their knowledge of let's say hydrostatic pressure to design the strength of particular let's say reservoir so that is engineering civil engineering similarly in mechanical engineering you talk about creation of the automobiles uh, education of the power plants so that is a knowledge of uh, thermodynamics knowledge of fluid mechanics is used to create those things that means knowledge of science knowledge of physics to create something is all about engineering when we come to managing manager manager is the professional who is skilled in managing the things uh, his main activity he may not be knowing physics he may not be knowing the scientific tools or techniques he may not be using them but he is expert in basically uh, certain skills managerial skills uh, managerial skills like uh, he will be skilled in some managerial skills like planning scheduling implementation follow up interpersonal skills dealing with people communication so i mean managing the show is something which is the ambit of manager now uh, both engineer engineer can be manager i mean if he acquires those skills and that is a, the combination we know in the industries we know that there is a technocrat who is also equipped with managerial things and then he becomes a uh, techno managerial profile he can handle and we all are aspiring for that when we are saying we want to get into niti niti is the yeah. typical institute which basically will groom technocrat uh, into manager so good engineer into world class manager the punch line of niti itself is reflecting that so this is the main domain uh, difference between the two so planning this is what the understanding which i gave you now these were not the things which were not knowing but yes you need start tuning your mind into those directions now okay. start thinking okay. on those directions fine baki okay. keep listening uh, this uh, audios um, interviews with others also we are uploading the interviews mock interviews others will learn from you you will learn from others and hence you keep preparing less time is left okay. but you can really do both in that fine Okay. So this is not related to knowledge. This is related to your common sense there and presence of mind. Okay. Just follow it. Okay. Fine. Ready? Okay. okay. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody.